the foreign national who allegedly bribed Joe and Hunter Biden allegedly has audio recordings of his conversation with them. 17 such recordings. These recordings were allegedly kept as a sort of insurance policy for the foreign national in case that he got into a tight spot. A stunning revelation from Senator Chuck Grassley on the alleged bribery scheme involving President Biden and his son Hunter and the Ukrainian energy company Burisma. Joining us now is New York Post reporter John Levine. Okay, John, this news hit last night. I just want to show you. So Senator Grassley was on our show. Bill Hemmer did the interview and he asked this question about what was in the documents. Watch here. Senator, how damning is this document to the sitting U.S. president? Well, it's, uh, I, I, I don't know that, and but that's you, what we but need you've to, read it. I read it. Uh, let's put it this way. There's accusations in it, but uh, that's, uh, it's not for me to make a judgment about whether these accusations are accurate or not. It's up to my job to make sure the FBI is doing their job, and uh, th that's what this is all about as far as I'm concerned. Uh, public's business ought to be public. So he said he read the document. Mm -hmm. Now the committee has seen the document, mm -hmm. right? That yep. nothing leaks from that. Nope. And then last night, Senator Grassley says this. What do you make of it? Maybe it's a shocking revelation. This is really the nightmare scenario. This is what people who've been following this have feared for a long time. The whole point of the Hunter Biden, Joe Biden investigation is not really about Hunter Biden. It's about Joe Biden and whether the president, through his exposure to his son's business dealings, is somehow compromised. Now the answer to that question now appears to be yes, if you believe the allegation in this FBI uh, document from this confidential, credible source. So we're really in no man's land. I okay. don't know how to explain it any other way. So you said during the commercial break, this is bigger than the laptop story. Potentially. Now, I, I just want viewers to know that you've gone through the laptop. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's a big job. Yes, Why only. is this bigger than that? This is potentially the first time you're going to be able to link Joe Biden to specific crimes. I mean, you could talk about the laptop all day long and Hunter Biden and the big guy, but at the end of the day, this is the first time Joe Biden is potentially involved in criminal behavior, if you believe the allegations in this oh, FBI. Okay, now, we just played the clip from 13 days ago with Senator Grassley. I had two questions on that. Why did he uh, not tell us that then? And second, <laughs> secondly, he wanted to ensure that the FBI is doing its job. And right. we can't answer number two, can we? You know, the rollout of information is very, you know, I, I can't answer that. I don't know what motivations go into when they reveal certain pieces of information. I'll also remind your viewers that the senator is almost 90 years old. And mm -hmm. maybe when you asked him that question, it wasn't mm -hmm. at top of mind. Okay. New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, she said that she believes that the FBI does understand. Right. that they've got a problem with people believing that things are not necessarily fair for wh wh whatever your ideological perception is, especially if you're a conservative. Watch her here. I believe Director Ray understands that we on this committee have very deep concerns about the two-tier justice system that we have right now, that if your last name is Biden or your last name is Clinton, you get to live by a different set of rules than Americans who are targeted simply because they're patriotic Americans who happen to be Republicans. Your thought on that, and also why you imagine it is that again, it's the New York Post and Fox News are the ones covering these Grassley revelations, and no one else. Right. Well, you know, it's fascinating. This this file comes from June 2020. That's before the hard drive uh, became known. That's before the larger malfeasance of the Biden family became known. And it's unclear that the FBI did anything with this information. And so, if FBI Director Ray didn't investigate and didn't launch some kind of probe in response to this credible information. We need to know why. And I think it's incumbent upon House and lawmakers to invite the FBI director and, and subpoena him if necessary to answer these questions. 15 audio recordings with Hunter Biden, two audio recordings with then Vice President Joe Biden. This is the compromise that they war allegedly that they warned us about Donald Trump but now showing its face and it's Joe Biden. Right. It's incredible. Thank you, John. Nice to see you. New York Post. I know you'll stay on it. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you I soon. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.